Enrique Morales is the founder of Border Angels, a pro-immigration group, and he joins us. Tonight. Enrique, thanks for coming on. Um, hey, Tucker. So I understand that you're for uh, more immigration into the country, but I, I can't imagine you would support people walking across Mexico and just showing up expecting to be let in. If that were to happen a lot, we would no longer be a country. So what should we do with these people? Well, Mexico is not a hostile nation like you mentioned earlier. Of course and it the is. People that are coming from, no, of course it isn't. And the fact that these people that are coming from Central America is the same thing that's been going on since Reagan interfered in the Central American policies in the late 70s and 80s. These are people that are escaping violence, escaping hunger. Uh, they're looking for refuge and they're trying to come into the country. And when you have a Border Patrol spokesman like Chris Harris encouraging them to come, telling them, just show up at the border and say asylum, are you going to get in? That's a lie. That's not the way it works. And it causes these people to flee. They're crossing. They think they're going to be able to get in. Most will not be getting in. Uh, but I don't, I'm not really sure why you, I don't know why you would feel an obligation to defend the government of Mexico, which is abetting illegal immigration into our country, which has been literally for years, which has trained people explicitly with documents that we have on how to get into this country illegally. I don't know why you would be flacking for them. I don't know what's in it for you exactly, but let's stop lying about it. Mexico could stop this right now. Mexico is a very long country. It's a long way from Honduras to Tijuana. They could stop this, but they're not. This is an act of hostility. The thing is that we allow the freedom of tra the pe people to be able to travel freely within the country, as a lot of countries do in the world. And I will defend Mexico because you're lying. Why don't you show me a document where the Mexican government is training people, like you just said, to cross into the United States. The Mexican government isn't doing that. Are there people doing that? There may be. Really? Because they were giving... Border uh, that, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, think I, I win with superior knowledge here. The Me no, Mexican that's not true. Me No, no. Superior it, of arrogance. Course, of course it, of course I mean, it is true. I know you're true. from San Diego, and oh, your racism okay. and ignorance you, is very you well win. known. Right, okay. Yeah, Look, La Jolla country the, 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 the Mexican government Carlson. has given instructions to people. I, I've seen them with my own eyes on how to get across the border. But okay, the point show is, the this, gr this show the video group of, of hold on, go to this video. group of people could be no stopped any time by the Mexican government, which again you feel the need to make apologies for. But they detain people all the time in their country from Central America, as you know. But they're not detaining these people because they say they're going to El Norte, so they're a hostile power. But why should we have to not accept anybody power. who comes here? Most people aren't coming to the United States. Most undocumented people go elsewhere. They have no desire to come here. Of the 250 million undocumented people in the world today, the United States has 11 million. And that flow has shifted dramatically, dropped 40% in the last five years. But why should we take years. any? No, but you're missing it. Why should we take any? There are a lot because of people who want to come States, here legally. Because, yeah, but they, there's no way for these people to come in legally. And the United but, States interfering in these countries, the demand for the drugs, invading a sovereign land like Iraq or interfering in the civil wars of Central America, that causes people to flee. The U.S. should be oh, more welcoming. So and our sins, countries, much our more sins are the reason the this is. So you hate America very, very is what you're saying. Of, very big I, I don't part know why. Actually, the, it's the interesting. US you're blaming America for illegal immigration into America. People Central come America here. is part of America. Uh -huh. Central America is part of America. Mexico is part of America. The United you might be States, is, the a United States. is a separate country. That it's is, not the is. same as Honduras, actually. One That's third right. of all Salvadoran so citizens already live in the United States. So at That's what right. point can we say we've atoned for our sins in El Salvador? Do, Stop do interfering have to live here? in the policies of other countries. Stop taking their natural resources. Stop invading sovereign lands. You have a president. Are we taking who's the natural a, a resources of Honduras Donald right Trump, now? Remember Donald Trump? I mean, that guy. I mean, he's an embarrassment to the world. He says they're coming for DACA. DACA ended in 2000. People had to have been here by 2012. Wait, Donald yeah, Trump doesn't know what I, he's I'm talking sure, about. Let me ask you, I'm not asking aspects. you your opinions on Trump. I'm not interested. I'm well, asking you well, about the nobody, policies the, that are, the, hold on, the policies that affect all of us as Americans. And you're saying that Hondurans have a right to come here because we take the natural resources of Honduras somehow? Can you no, be a lot more specific? Absolutely. The invasion of the United States of sovereign lands, whether it was the interference in Central America with the Reagan administration. What do we do to Honduras? Bush, well, have you heard of Iran Contra? Have you heard of the fact that the United States is the number one consumer of natural resources from other countries? The number one consumer in of Honduras? drugs? In Honduras? So that these people are coming here to countries. punish us for bad things we did in Honduras? No. Are they're, you they're representative of people on the left? Is everybody this dumb? The United I mean, States I'm has sure, a like, large what are you responsibility. Talking about? 
And when they invade sovereign lands, when they take from sovereign lands, they should be a more welcoming nation, and they are not. But there's no legal way for the way? people to come okay. in. They're right. desperate. I'm people are crossing I just borders have a rational, all over the world. I, I just want to have a rational right. conversation. They should be able. Yes, Nobody we on should the have one. All right. Yeah, yeah okay. we should have a Get back to me when you can explain what we did to Honduras to deserve this.